Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is bug, which is in Swedish insect. Insect. I am pretty usual getting ready for work. Hope you enjoy these, get ready with me's. But I thought that I would use the whatever palette and I'm just gonna get started. This was part of my little, not little, but huge gift that I got from one of my subscribers. This is what the palette looks like. This was one of the palettes that I was most excited about because I've been eyeing it for years, so years, but ever since it launched last year, but I never bought it, I realized that I haven't done a ColourPop order in maybe a year now, since Black Friday. I'm gonna hop into the shade Copycat, which is this one right here, just as a transition shade. I'm just going in with this just a little bit above my crease. I just want like a base color, so I don't want to add on like too much pigment, but I just want it to be a little bit more like a base. Is anyone else falling a little bit out of love with ColourPop? Because I feel like I am. I used to jump on their new um, releases and purchase all of the things. Now I don't really do that anymore because I don't feel like... I don't know, but I just don't feel like it's worth it. I feel like I'm just un annoyed about the fact that they are coming out with products all the time and they aren't really thinking about the products that they are coming out with either. They're just kind of pumping out products just to come out with something new. Now I want to take the shade maybe later, which is right next to that color. And I'm just going to take that on the same brush, but just try and focus it a little bit right underneath here. I know that so many people are very tired of ColourPop constantly coming out with new products, but I feel like they had something, even though like I was very tired of them coming out with the palettes and new things all the time. I still felt like they had it. I don't feel like they do that anymore. I feel like they kind of just releases things that I'm like always like meh about. I feel like they had something with their monochromatic palettes. Now they've obviously done all the shades that they can do it. They can do more, but you know what I mean? So now I feel like they're trying to just push out collaborations and collections and everything will eventually start looking the same obviously some of the products are bomb but i feel like i love the this format a little bit more and i kind of wish that they would spread out their collections and do less now i really want to take the shade bad guy i had to go in and swatch like these colors this one this one because they just looks like some of the ColourPop formula that I love. You know, the super duper dry ultra matte formula that is just so beautiful on the eyes. So this is not, you know, sometimes they have shadows that is a little bit loosely pressed, not loosely pressed, but they aren't as, as pressed as maybe these ones are, which means that they have a lot of kick up these are much much firmer so this is just a bh cosmetics brush and i'm focusing this a little bit lower but still like in my crease because i don't want it to be like too too much and i'm gonna go in with the deepest color that's like what i'm mostly excited about now i want to take this brush from look see this is the 209 large shader brush. We got this in our Look Fantastic box, one of our Look Fantastic's monthly subscription boxes. And I'm gonna take the shade Mr. Brightside, which is the deepest one. Mrs. Brightside, so sorry. And then we're just gonna pack this. I wanna see if it is any different. Or, yeah, it definitely is. Such a beautiful shade. This I could just slather all over my lid and call it a day. If I just blended it out a little bit, obviously. Going in with a little bit more than I intended to, but I just fell in love with this color. This had a little bit more kick up than the other shades. So now I'm just gonna start blending this out a little bit and then I'm actually gonna go in with my shimmers. 
I think I'm gonna take two shimmers. I'm gonna take this shade Ditching You and then I wanna take this one like closest to my eye. And I feel like this is a super shock shadow formula, but we're gonna see. So Ditching You, I'm just taking on a little brush. This is just a little, I think that this is a beach cosmetics brush. I feel like I wanna purchase so many brushes because I feel like I only purchase sets nowadays from like BH Cosmetics, but I think that they have amazing brushes. They are super affordable, they are vegan, and I definitely think that like you need to invest in, in some of your brushes, but I think that BH has some of the most value sets. I think that they are really, really good. And I don't think that they give you a lot of crap either, like some of, when you buy brush sets, some of the times you get like, you know, a spoolie and a lip brush, a uh, eyebrow brush, but I feel like they actually give you a lot of br different brushes that you would actually use and not just like crap. Obviously there's always like one or two brushes that you might not use, but that's something I'm totally fine with. But I'm thinking of picking up some brushes from Flair or Beauty Act, which is a Swedish brand because I've watched a lot of Yusufin Kuleman and I've seen her videos, but we'll see. Just going in with the deepest shade again, just to um, blend them out a little bit into each other and not just lose that. And then Tardy. This is so exciting to me. Like I love these Shoopy Shack. Super Shock Shadow Shades. I haven't sprayed my brush. I didn't do it with the other shimmer either. Oh, this is so pretty. You could even have this in your inner corner. And they apply beautifully with the brush, actually. So on the other side of the brush, I'm just taking the shade Ditching You once again. I think I'm gonna take it a little bit on my finger, actually. Just tapping it in ever so slightly just to uh, get that little bit of a fade. This palette was so me and like so folly. I really enjoyed this. Do not tell him that that toy is actually for cats. Yeah. Ay vas. So I'm gonna go in with my foundations. I'm gonna mix the two because this is a little bit too matte and this is and the shades are a little bit off. So this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation in the shade Light 5N. And this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I'm taking like 50-50. And now I have dog hair in my entire face, but I thought that I could switch the camera around a little bit because I know that you aren't here to watch me. You're here to watch Sige. And he is a little bit tired. Uh, I also went in with my primers, my Dr. Jart, and what else? My pixie under eye thingy, because um, I thought that that might be a little bit boring to do on camera, so I fetched myself a little bit more coffee during that time, wet and cleaned my sponge. When are you cleaning your sponges? I never clean my sponges like right now that I've applied my foundation. I always do it in the morning. So when I do my eyeshadow, that's like, and when I'm done doing that, it's time to uh, get some more coffee. And then I get up, get some more coffee and clean my sponge. Perfect routine for that. I love the mix of these two foundations together. They just complement each other so great. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I really, I really wanna try and, and use this up, but every time I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna talk and do my uh, under eyes at the same time, and the Revolution Concealer, uh, but every time I think that I'm about to finish it up, there's still so much product in it. I haven't like taken out the stopper or anything. I haven't really seen how much it is left, but I just, I don't know why, but I just assumed that it was about to get empty. 
So I was like, oh wow, that's really cool because it's like 15 milliliters, which is like half of a foundation. And I know I've used it a lot. Like I, the Tarte concealer that I have contains 10 milliliters. And I know that I haven't used that as much. So the Too Faced one is like three concealers. I'm just gonna take a little, little dot on my nose. I don't know why, but I have started doing that. And then like two layers of concealer. Again, don't know why. But I feel like the Too Faced one is so tricky because you can't really see how much is in there and I have no idea how much I have in there. So I'm just flabbergasted. I think that is definitely gonna be like a surprise, but I'm still like, why haven't I gotten more use out of it? I feel like I should be able to take out the stopper soon but since I also mix it out all the time with like this one or my darker shade I use the darker shade a lot more this summer I feel like it's not as strange that I'm not uh, getting it empty but still like it would be nice to finish that up I'm gonna take my Fenty powder so sorry for covering up our little precious boy in the background I just love his little nose it's so cute so I usually take this on a egg show brush. I got this in PR from the brand like a while ago. This summer I think it was. And I love to just tap out my concealer and then just press it in. And then I do the same thing right here. Nicholas usually jokes with me and says that he doesn't know anyone who gets like as excited as I do when I finish up a product, which is true. Okay, I don't get as excited when I, I need to change out the mascara that I use. The Essence one, you guys know I love that, which is now discontinued. However, it has a fault to it, which is that it dries up pretty quickly. So I need to change that out. So even though I don't finish it up, I have to change it out. Sometimes I add in, let's see here, like the Dur Duraline dupe from Makeup Revolution or Re Revolution Pro or whatever it's called. Okay, as you can see, I'm using a lot of powder these days. But that is only because I've been, I still love the dew, but I feel like we can get the dew while still powdering down a little bit. Yeah, but I get very, very excited when like I finish up a foundation or, ooh. Sorry, the sun came out, so it got very, very bright. I am going to do my under eyes really quick and then I'm gonna do my mascara. So I'm going to start off with Mrs. Brightside, the deepest shade, and I'm just gonna take this under my eyes. I'm using you guys as a mirror. I'm taking this like half, under half of my eye. And then here. And then I'm just gonna take maybe later which is this one tapping it off and then just blending it out finally i'm gonna take the shade tardy which is that one and i'm just gonna take that in my inner corner and then i'm just gonna go off camera and apply my mascara and then i will be right back so I'm gonna take my Pretty Pan bronzer. I really wanna finish this one up. We don't have a lot left. So I feel like if I just stay consistent, use this, I will be able to finish this one up before the year has ended. And that is basically gonna be like the second bronzer I finished this year, which is gonna be like so cool. I'm sitting here wondering like what I should wear today. I also hate these lashes because they always curl on me. <sighs> Super annoying. Anyway, bronzing up our little skin, our little sweetheart is sleeping in the background. I think he wants a little bit of bronzer as well. Beautiful using a little bit on my nose as well and wondering like what blush I should use today because I don't feel like I have a blush in my shop my stash that works with this look but maybe I do I'm gonna see what I have I realized I had this one from 
pixie so i'm gonna take that this is the on the glow blush in the shade ruby i think that this might have a little bit of a pink undertone but i think we're gonna be able to make that work i'm just pressing that in and yeah i think that that looks really nice so great and then a little bit on my nose because you guys know i love that I'm gonna take my Milk Makeup Highlighter. This is in the shade Lit and it is a cream. So I'm just gonna tap this in with my fingers. Just like that. I think that this is the easiest way to apply my cream highlights. Not liquid highlights, but my cream highlights. So I'm gonna test this from She Glam. I'm a little bit scared actually that this is gonna be too dark for me. Don't forget that you can use my code. I have like a code that lasts for December to December, which is Paulina115, and that will give you 15% off the entire website, I think, in a way. Even if they have a sale, you are still gonna get money off with my code, which is not too shabby since this is like, three or four dollars their eyeshadow palettes is like six dollars or five dollars or something it is a little bit too dark for me actually so i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and then i'm probably gonna go in with i don't know we'll see so i'm gonna take my bronzer brush and just try and go over this a little bit just to tone it down a little bit and i need to tone down my nose because i look sick what I like to do then is to take my sponge and just go over it and that just toned it down. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then I'm gonna take my Stila Little White Lice palette. I love this one. I was very iffy on it in the beginning, but then now I just love it. I love these two shades. So this has a pink undertone and this is just a glittery one. This has a yellow undertone, which I don't really love. So I'm just gonna go over it right here. You can purchase this from Look Fantastic. I got this from Look Fantastic and it is way more affordable on that website than if you were to purchase it at Beauty Bay. But I do believe that this is limited edition. So I don't know if it is still in stock. If it is, I can link it down below, but that is going to be an affiliate link. If you are not comfortable using that, then you can just Google it. And now I'm going to take a lipstick. This is also from She Glam. I'm going to see if this fits with this makeup look. I'm not sure that it does. This is a lipstick from them. Let's see if we can open it up. This is in the shade Nude. I don't think that this is a nude, but... Nonetheless, I think I love the packaging of it. I think it looks so cute. Ooh, damn, that was glidey. Ooh, I expected it to be way more matte. It might be a little bit too pinky for this look, but I am just gonna go off camera, get ready, and then I might change the lip. I'm gonna see how I feel about it, but I will be back in just a second. So I changed my lip color. I don't think it, there was anything wrong with the lip color I had. I just didn't really think that it went with the look. So I changed it to this Buxom lipstick. This is the Triple Threat, Threat, Threat lipstick. Very folly. I really like this look. I think that this look is very great for fall. Uh, but that's all I had for you guys. By the way, I really enjoyed the palette. They were super dry mattes, which is not a bad thing. I really enjoyed the shimmers. So beautiful. Uh, but I think that this one is a pressed glitter, so I'm never going to use that. And this is the Super Shock Shadow that I, I love when they put these Super Shock Shadows in two palettes. And yeah. Now that's all I had for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.